are absolutely jam-packed in this car. We've got boxes between our legs, bags between us, I'm suitcases the behind the seats. That is absolutely squished. There is no movement in the back there. And obviously the boot is absolutely rammed. We have recently realized that as somebody who pretty much travels for a living, an MX-5 is a really impractical car for us. We need five seats. We need a bigger boot. We've got a lot of loose stuff because what's happening is we're heading to my mum's who lives 45 minutes from Luton Airport, which is much closer than our house. So we're driving there, we're spending the night there. She's gonna drive us about 4 a.m., half three in the morning to Luton. And we're gonna sort out all the suitcases there, work out what fits and uh, <laughs> sort some of this stuff out. I wouldn't say I'm a like hyper over organizer. I can sometimes be a last minute, I get everything done at the last minute because I kind of like a bit of pressure. But this time I have found the sweet spot. Two weeks, a week before, we were putting stuff to one side, we were packing the bags, so that at any point when we realised there was something that we needed, we would put it in the bag. It meant that we're not rushing at the end, it's meant that we've had plenty of headspace. It's been a dream so far. <laughs> Everyone's been popped in the WhatsApp group, and honestly, Make again, vibe. the word to describe it is dream. They are all chatting, they're all like in the same boat, and I think they're realising that they're in the same boat. Um, they're like the loveliest group of individuals I could ever have wished for with this retreat. Um, I can't wait to meet them. I can't wait for them to meet each other. Basically, we just can't wait. <laughs> to a wonderful retreat, and I'm so proud of you. Oh, Cheers! So to the final night before we leave. <laughs> <laughs> What's the time, is it? <laughs> Off we go. We've arrived at Luton. I was going to say Gatwick. A little bit of traffic because of the vehicle fire. But we are here with plenty of time. My face <laughs> has frozen. It's absolutely Baltic. <laughs> We have arrived! As we land in the airport, already see the gorgeous views, yes. the gorgeous uh, little mountains there. Greenery, beautiful weather, not quite like the one degrees back in the UK. No, no. And it, it's just dawned on me that not only are we running a retreat for a week long with really cool activities, we're in another country. <laughs> he is now hoping. We get a Fiat 500. Let's, uh, let's hope she gets one. What hour are you This is Helen the Hyundai. Helen. Think that's very safe. <laughs> what a beauty. Absolute monster. Let's roll. So far, so good. We've got a very, very high clutch point on the yeah. car, which is really strange. Um, second time driving in a different country and on the other side of the road. Very small town with a big My Market. Which is where we're going to be getting lots of bottles of water for the retreat attendees and ourselves um, and stocking up on snacks and desserty things throughout the week so but for the time being we're an all-inclusive so we don't need anything Good job. That's it. That's it. There are people there. Wow, look at that for a view though. Wow. Do you think I can just put it 
We are here. Rather than going straight to the villa that we're staying in tonight, we decided to go and check out the retreat villa. And yeah. oh my god, we couldn't see it fully. <laughs> we saw a corner of it, literally <laughs> I saw a corner. A window. But the window and corner that we saw were beautiful. But look behind us, like it's like we're in some tropical paradise. Just to just to, yes. just to interrupt. The weather is like gorgeous. Oh. The sun, mm, when you get in the shade. It's not like cold. This is perfect. It's actually got like perfect. And there's something about, right, if you look this way, okay, there's loads of rocks. Um, you know, it, it's a cliff, right? But there's this strange feeling being on this island. We've only been, we've only landed about an hour ago. Everything's quite flat. You can see quite far and it just comes with this like sense of peace and serenity. It honestly, so far, I'm very, very impressed. Made it to the hotel. Wait. What is the view? That's the question. Oh, we've got a really little balcony in the trees. Oh, this is perfect. I've got a fridge. We didn't film anything last night because, well, first of all, it's all inclusive, which means all inclusive alcoholic drinks. And yeah. we basically hadn't eaten anything all day. We also were surviving off very little sleep. And oh, then yeah. we had two drinks and it just was, just gone. <laughs> we were just gone. We needed a good sleep, which we, we pretty much got, got woken up in the night, but a, a couple of times, but yeah. all in all feeling refreshed yeah. and the sun has come out and we thought rather than staying at the villa, because I think because there's the hotel apartments come up either side of the pool. The pool itself doesn't get much sun, mm. which is, and it's freezing. It's utterly it freezing. Really hot, like colder than the sea. And colder That's than mad. a leisure centre swimming pool anyway. So we thought we'd come back to this beautiful spot, super close to the retreat villa, um, because the water is so clear and the sun's out. It might not be out all day. So we want to soak up rest of it. some of, yeah, mm. some of those rays. Look how gorgeous it is. <laughs> We've just been for a dip and yes, it is slightly cold. I will say that, but goggles on, head under the water and it is so clear. Like you can see everything it is gorgeous so let me give you a bit of a framing as to where we are now where the villa is and we've basically just been having conversations about how perfect this setup is for retreat space this is the first time we've been here i picked a venue a villa that i thought would work and it's just seeming more and more perfect the longer we stay here so let me show you so our car is parked probably up here you do a little downward incline and this is the dock where we'll be being picked up in a yacht for the boat day. Other than this port and a few boats here and one or two people who come in the last hour, this is basically a private beach. Like it's mad. It, it, we are the only ones on this on this beach. Somebody's left their stuff there to go for a swim and we've seen one other person. And um, up here, I'll zoom in, is a little like Taverna, um, it's what they call the local sort of restaurant cafe places, and it literally overlooks the sea. As you can see, it's got these lovely billowy, curtainy things um, that just create a lovely atmosphere. It's got cheap food and drink. It just provides everything. There's even changing rooms here. So the villa is up here somewhere. So you literally come out of the villa, walk down here and you've got a private beach, you've got changing facilities, you've got a restaurant if you want it. It's just honestly perfect. It's perfect, isn't it, babe? <laughs> oh, I'm in love. Okay, update. <laughs> we have left the beach and gone for a little walk to our second villa. So we've got two villas because, well, we can't, we just can't fit everybody in the first villa. And it, it said it was an eight minute walk. So we thought, let's try out the walk, see what it's like. First of all, the villa looks insane, like far better than all the others around it. Um, it's just on another level. And they have an espresso. 
Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> There's an espresso slash juice bar. It's like 20 second walk from the second villa. It's so close. It's so close. So not only do we have this gorgeous cafe overlooking the sea by the beach, which is 30 seconds from this, the main villa, we have this, they have these smoothies of like all kinds. The vibe there is just so nice. It's like this tropical, mm. oh, it's perfect, and we've yeah. got a nice coffee. How test, is it? Test it. Um, I've only just okay. got the straw off. Oh, what's the verdict? The roll. Good, good coffee. Indeed. Strong, but that's how we like it. Oh, obviously, I planned all of this to a T. I was on Google Maps really trying to understand the area, but there's nothing like understanding the area until you're in the area. It, it's just, the word I keep using is gorgeous, but gorgeous is like on the edge of perfect, so. Yeah. Yes, we are now going to walk back to the car. Well, no, we're not. We're not walking back to the car. We are walking to the villa yeah. to just experience what the walk would be like for them um and then we're gonna walk back hop in the car and head to the hotel that we're staying at to grab some bits maybe have a drink <laughs> then get back in the car and make the most of the weather before the thunderstorms later on today yeah. so we might go and find another beach might we absolutely it's been gorgeous It is about nine o'clock. We've turned off all the lights and we're in bed watching the thunderstorm. And it is mad. Mental. We've got the windows open, all the doors open. But the sound from the thunder <sighs> is mental. The sound from the rain is mental. Perfect. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it is. 6 30 and we are off to go to our sunrise hike spot because we're going to give it a practice um make sure we've got the timings right because we're leaving so we can get to the top 10 minutes after sunrise so we don't know whether the sun's going to have risen or whether it's going to be like beginning to rise so we're going to give it a practice this is ridiculous So after driving round and round and thinking we'd got the wrong place, we've actually found it. We've realised that we're actually at the base point of the hike. The only thing is, is I know it's meant to be a sunrise hike, but it's really, really dark. <laughs> so we're going to give it a go, but I think we might end up pushing the hike back a bit um, in terms of timing because it's just so weird. The sun is rising quickly, so we're all trying to walk quickly. So we know exactly what time we need to be at the top for. <sighs> I did say it's quite a nice incline. Not too steep, not too flat. But when you're walking at pace, it's quite the workout. <sighs> what a gorgeous view though. And I think in a minute, we're gonna turn this corner and hopefully have a really nice view. But now there is so much to say. On a rope. Very odd. Is it caught? Is it trapped? Goodbye, little goats. Goodbye. Were well, you a bit worried they were going to charge at you? <laughs> Not really. I just saw the sharp pole. And, uh, and it's going to go wrong. It's going to go wrong something to them. <laughs> is that another one? It is. This is literally about three minutes after the last video that you just saw. Sun's rising quickly. But I was just saying to Jordan, it's crazy that the next time we're here, we'll be with a group of 10 people. Super cool. Woo! This is quite a cloudy day today. So if we get a good sunrise today, we should get a good sunrise on any day. <laughs> so yeah, quite a few clouds in the sky. 
but hopefully it'll be amazing all the same. How incredible is that view? Almost as gorgeous as that one. <laughs> the hike has taken a turn. <laughs> Lots of time out of hands actually, but by turn, I mean we are knackered. We've been walking like 25 minutes, fast pace. <sighs> and it's just continued to get steeper. So, oh, we're trying to get up as fast as we can so that we can see exactly when the sun is like at the best place. We might miss it. I don't know. There is a big cloud covering the sun, but either way, it's glorious. <sighs> We have made it and it does not disappoint. The sun is just about to peek through. Ah, look at that! We just did, uh, well, Jordan just did a, a test with the drone. How did it go, babe? I think it went okay around the road, but it is really the drone's like, trying to stay flat. trying to land it and I'm like it's okay it's okay you've got this literally to the drone um because let me show you where we were trying to land it we're trying to land it in this little spot here you've got like super sharp bushy bits there rocks here and trying to get to land here when it's so windy this is like Welcome to our little private beach right near the villa. Oh, you had to go. That's okay. Look at that water, that is so clear. You can see all the way to the bottom, and it's really shallow, so you can walk out for ages. You actually can. That like Izzy was probably just out here, just walking, still up to her kind of knees. So let me spin this round. Look how clear that is. The sun is beaming in the sky. Oh, oh it's getting me mum vouched out though. Oh. How is it? It's good. Uh, Very refreshing. Good. We are at Calypso, the restaurant of the chef who will be catering for the retreat guests. And it is quite gorgeous. Take a look. <laughs> yeah. It is Jordan's birthday today. Is it is a new day. Work. It is the 19th of October. Indeed. This man is now 22. 22. <laughs> So we are walking into town, we've got the bag all packed, we've had our breakfast, we've got some coffee and we're going to go and find somewhere to hire a quad bike because that is what he wants to do on his birthday. Yeah. And then there is this apparently quite incredible beach on the other side of the Looks island, gorgeous. about a 47 minute drive, um, where it's like, it's like enclosed so it's almost like a natural swimming pool, um, which sounds awesome. So I think we're going to try and aim to go yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, we'll see where we end up. Yeah. We've got the whole day. Whole day. World's our oyster. Explore Santee's the island a little bit. Yeah, it's empty. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you on the quad bike. <laughs>
got to the beach limi on something like that how was that quad bike experience that insane. i felt Actually like we were in nuts. we were in canada going through pine forests like the smell is incredible Gorgeous. we were literally of up there yeah. felt like we were in i don't even know what like, <laughs> himalayas <laughs> i don't know <laughs> and now wait till we show you this this is Gorgeous. ridiculous is actually incredible. Have you ever seen water this colour before? What? Absolutely bonkers. And the sun is out for us. It's a gorgeous day. There was only two people here and then now we've arrived. We, so many yeah. people have come <laughs> What perfect way to spend your birthday. Ask for any more. Where we end up? Absolutely insane. Definitely be back. Definitely. 100%. Just circled them, Porto Rocks are, I think they're just beaches. Probably similar to this, I imagine. Yeah. So cool. Well, let's, yeah, let's go to the other place. Cool. Uh, and we'll see you guys there. Hey, let's go. What's up, yoga mats? <laughs> let's roll. Let's hope they fit in the cup. Look pipe. how big that is, man. I like just take, take a step this down. This shop is called Jumbo, and we've got a Jumbo bag. It's nearly the size of me. <laughs> so I don't know if these are going to fit in the quad bike, but they kind of have to because we've just bought them. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting on the back like this. <laughs> and we do okay. not want that. Cool. Let's go find out. And this is, we have now officially seen what Santi is like in rush hour because there was like piles of it was mad, wasn't it? It's not even like it's like a chilled ride back. Like today, the roads have been absolutely dead, like barely anyone, yeah. and now there's and now, so in many. in the middle of Zanti Town, it's not even a big city, though. Okay, it's a small bag. It is quite, it's like probably like bag. four, three or four. That's what I thought a bag would be used for. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's get the helmets out, first of all. And let's see how many we can fit in. Right, you're you gonna take there mine. We go. One, two, two. At least they fit length ways. I was You reckon you can go flat in? You reckon I'm get not one sure more? About that. One more maybe at an absolute push. Yeah. Okay, hold on. That's not too bad. Nah, there's no way another one's going in there. <laughs> okay, okay. How many have we got? Like three? Three in there? And you can grab onto the Bring bag. In. Awesome. So and carry it like this on the way back. <laughs> I'm just so glad we found yoga mats because there is a there's a good space at the villa. Not that we've actually seen in the villa, but from the pictures that we've seen, there is enough space for you to do a yoga session. But there is no like non-slip surface. So an amazing contact that I have here in Zanti, who has been wonderful. She runs her own like Tai Chi retreats. She's been doing it for years and years and years, literally doing them every single week for years. Um, suggested that we come to Jumbo. Boom. Who Ooh. apparently had yoga mats and they do. Unfortunately, there were like one euro more than we were hoping for. So we only got nine, but still winning. Bagged it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good morning! The sun is shining, although we don't know for how long because it seems that the weather may be taking a little turn. Just just a bit cloudier, but we, we, we live in hope. We have just had our final breakfast at the Sylvie Beach Hotel and we're now having a lovely stroll along the beach until we need to check out at 11. Then we've got an hour and a half to kill until we can go and meet our host at the retreat villa, hey. which is super exciting. Yeah. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling warm from the sun, yes. excited for the villa, stuffed from the food and excited <laughs> for the retreat. Boom. That's what we like to hear. How oh. are you feeling this morning? I am, I am feeling weirdly full from the food. I am feeling excited to see the villa. My head is a little, oh, well I've had coffee now, but before, before I had coffee, I was feeling a little, brain couldn't process all of the changes we might need to make because of the weather. Um, but I'm feeling good, I'm feeling relaxed, I'm feeling like with the weather you can't control it. There's nothing you can do. At the end of the day we want to give these people the best experience possible and if that means moving things about so they have a sunny boat trip then it's not really a big issue is it? Not at all. So yes, we're here and that over there is where the villa is. So soon We'll be over there. We'll see you later. We arrived at the villa and met the host who gave us a tour of the villa and everything we needed to know. And honestly, it was incredible. And we were so overwhelmed. We were trying to hold back our smiles and excitement and just disbelief while she was showing us around. Um, and then we recorded a full tour that you'll see in just a minute. How nuts. Let's show you around. <laughs> 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 Woo! How cute is that, bro? How crazy. Which bedroom do you want? <laughs> Let's go see him. Let's go. Aisha. This is actually the most like insane place I've ever seen or been in. Look at that. And then when she showed the blinds. So like, <laughs> well, the what? automatic blinds. Yeah. They've got automatic blackout blinds that just come out there. Little balcony here. Oh my God. <laughs> it's actually just insane. Oh my gosh, we've got rows. We do. What's around here? Have a little exploration. We. Oh my god, yeah, two separate showers. She gets ex at this one place. She gets excited over. Look, look most hotels and places only have shampoo because they're designed by men. I think is the reason why, and they don't think that women need conditioner. Like, maybe a woman who does not use conditioner. <laughs> Off to the other bedrooms. This is... Oh! Even this is like insane for a... What? And, 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 both of the twin rooms are connected. Oh, how cool is that? Which means... They can have a little chat in the morning. What? I just want to dive in that pool. But we should try and keep the multi out. We should, yeah. Come on through. Thank you, dear. I don't know if this is doing it justice, but how insane is all of this? That's mad. Second bedroom. This is so much bigger than the pictures. Way bigger and way cooler. Like this is just nuts. I've probably said that many times already, but it really is. <laughs> I even like the little black switches. Oh, that matte as well. So much light coming into here as well. Oh my god. And there's a fridge in each one, so they can put oh there's water in here. I should plug it in. I was like, this is so cool when she was like, oh yes, you need to put the vines down, you press this button. 
Crazy. What are you doing right now, Isabel? I'm grounding myself. I'm feeling, I don't even know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed in a good way, like in a very good way. I've never been in a place like this, let alone like. organised it, paid for it, invited other people to it. And I'm like, I'm a, I'm a small, small but cosy kind of girl like those are the places I appreciate and then you come to a place like this that is just like on another level to anything you've ever experienced like in peak summer this costs over a thousand pounds a night and I've booked it <laughs> for nine nights <sighs> I'm also very excited for a swim but yeah um <laughs> It's almost like it's not real. Oh, it's going to be great. Do you know what I mean? How are you feeling? I'm just processing. Yeah, pro every, processing like, the word. Processing everything and then you kind of go into processing and then realise you can't... Processing. You can't be in processing because then you need to be in logistics. Organising yeah, in a true. Sense. You know, you, we've been planning... I've been planning this since April. So it's been over six months of creating stuff in my head based off pictures and now we're here and it's like even little things like really great things like the blinds are electronic so I need to t show people how to do that so I have to add that thing the amazing thing that everybody has electronic blinds in their rooms to the list of logistics to run through I need to run them through the fact that we have two sets of towels pool towels and bedroom towels, which is an amazing thing, but I need to add it to the list of things to tell them. So it's not like overwhelmed in a negative way in that, oh, I've got so many things I've been able to remember. It's like, oh my gosh, this place is so amazing. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling. There's a lot going on in my brain and in ma mainly, mainly in my chest it's just like wow it's cool it happening yeah basically yeah dreams becoming reality that's Pretty literally much. couldn't be more of a like a better statement for yeah. this you know if if you have a dream that you've been thinking up in your head this is what it looks like for it to be a reality like lying on where the floor we are. <laughs> Well, yeah, because you've got to take a moment to pause and to just like, wow. And then it's yeah. going to feel completely different yet again when everybody arrives here and this place is filled with people. That's going to be another thing that we're still trying to imagine in our head and then it becomes a reality and it's like, wow. It's so, going pretty crazy. Yeah. Cheers. Go for that swim. Cheers to our dreams. Cheers to our dreams. We'll, we'll like cut this bit out and what we're going to do is going to act like we've just gone from this chat. I'm going to run out and I'm going to dive into the pool and you're going to like film me. So yeah. it's like really spontaneous, <laughs> so not at all planned. <laughs> cool. Cheers to our dreams. Cheers to our dreams. Oh, oh she's going. She's off. <laughs> That's one. And bring on the bubbles. Hey. Oh my gosh. Is it that cold? I can't keep it running. <laughs> I'm going to swim over there and then lie on a sunbed. Um, I'm hoping this will make it warmer. It's not something we can control. No, not exactly. But my head. What a cool view though. Yeah. Girl over there. If you're watching this, is he? I love you very, very much. How is it on the sunbed? 
This is actually so nice. I, really when we first came there. here, I literally threw myself, I think we recorded it, I threw myself down on it because it's, it's, it's so, it feels yeah. so deep. Come and take it. Oh, I've got it very wet. <laughs> this feels like a bed. I could honestly sleep here. You actually could. <laughs> it's cold, isn't it? My boxes fell off as well. <laughs> but it's not horrendous, is it? I mean, it's like with any pool. Once you get going, it's all right. Yeah. What are we uh, testing out here then? <laughs> we were trying to connect up the um, HDMI to the screen um, to see if I can deliver, actually deliver my presentations. Turns out there's an ever so slight, slight gap we were able to fit through there and put it in. So it is all sorted. And we yes. found the lights. I was just going to mention how cool is all of that? All under there, under the stairs, along the stairs. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, all oh, right, yeah, you mean on the, I see. Yeah, yeah so reflex stuff there. Might figure that out, but no, quite cool. Um, got my clicker with me. And you brought your clicker? Yeah. <laughs> so I used to, because I always have to bend down. Yeah. Use this for my, uh, with my little stand. No one else can see what's going on. Uh, oh. This will be my little chair. As you can see on the screen here, because if I'm standing up, Speaking to everybody, and then there's like open up your journals and write down something serious. If I'm standing up, it's a bit intense. So I've got my little chair, everyone's cozy, everyone's relaxed. I want to be across here, <sighs> in the corner up there. Good morning. Good morning. I had a terrible night's sleep because of the midges that. I got bitten by when I was at the espresso bar and then like just thinking through loads of stuff. So I think Like, sorry. <laughs> can I just I don't know if no, keep your legs there. Like, I don't know if the camera can see it, but it's actually got lump, lump, lump. We'll have to watch that back to see if you can see it, but mm. that's not nice. No, it's it's like honestly it, it's the same as the flea bites. The same the same like itchiness. I've never experienced anything as itchy. Like right now, the urge to itch is, it's like worse than chicken pox. <laughs> but anyway, um, other than having like two hours sleep now, it's definitely more than that. Um, we've woken up and there's this amazing sunrise. What? That looks insane. Little good morning from Although from I think we're about to get run over, so I'm gonna get off the road. Get uh, come with us. Come with us to get a smoothie. <laughs> hey, come on in, lad. He's very sleepy. He does. <laughs> You're gonna have to move soon. See you later. Bye. <laughs> I am absolutely starving. We haven't I eaten all morning, have we? Toast ever. for dinner. <laughs> Jordan had a whole massive plate of pasta, but it just was like pasta with passata. Um, because like the corner shops here. Oh, hello. Are you going to say, come on then, come on then. Yeah, hello, hello. We're part, we're one of the pack now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, met some locals who are getting the olives down from the tree to make into olive oil, which was really cool. They offered us a job <laughs> and we said, you know what, we're kind of tempted to move out with him. And our little dog friend ran on ahead and waited for us. It actually was just sitting there <laughs> staring at us, waiting. And we think it's just going to keep following us, look. And um, along she comes. Oh, oh. The little dog. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> We've been deserted. Our dog. Hey, it might be my mum. Hello, mum. I actually don't think so. Oh. It doesn't look like an easy jet no, and it's she lands at 12 so. Oh, oh no, our little dog has deserted oh, us. Man. It's quite sad. What a glorious day. It might be windy but it's actually quite warm. I mean it's what 24 degrees right now? Is that what it is? Like I'm in a bikini. Yeah, like <laughs> hot. I don't have yeah. to convince you that it's warm. 
The question is, the if we move to the island for a few months, could we get a dog? <laughs> could we adopt a dog? I do think so, be. Maybe, maybe, but so maybe, maybe a temporary adoption. A temporary adoption. Which I don't think is the point of adoption. Okay, we can foster one then. Is that it? Would you let us foster a dog? <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see when the time comes. We'll just maybe steal one that just one. follows us, like naturally, yeah. like just loves it's us like that meant much. To be. Still, just live with us. Maybe. Right, I need to find, there's a corner shop just here and I'm really hoping they've got more after bite stuff. Testing the first smoothie. Green's goodness. Avocado, spinach, mint, lime, avocado. I'm not, I'm not sure what I it think about it. It sounds interesting. But let's go. That is really nice. Yeah. It's like a cocktail without alcohol, so like, mm, I give it a taste, you'll see, this tastes like fizzy, but it's not fizzy, obviously. Like zingy. Ooh. That's good. What is that? Have we got like mint in there? Mm -hmm. it? Mint that, and lime. Yeah, that's what. Wait, it's Shop hands. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You want to give it a taste? Yeah, let's do it. Should we smell it? Do you smell it? Oh, that smells banging, I can't lie. Is it good? That's good, that's fruity, strawberry, banana, mm. Like that's like a fruity smoothie, do you know what I mean? Izzy doesn't like bananas though, so she might I'm taste it. I'm weird about coconut, but I can't even that's taste really it. really nice. It does not taste like veg and fruit, it tastes so good. <laughs> Bike cream from the pharmacy has been secured. And it's really cool, because you just travel 15 minute, like what, 10 minute walk? Like 10 minute walk. Down from the, our second retreat villa, and there's couple of places to eat that are still open there's a shop and a pharmacy and I think it's the pharmacy is like open 24-7 yeah um, and there's two of them one to the left of our villa and one to the right so couldn't really ask much more could you not at all hmm. what a mess what is going on Lots of packing going on and colour schemes matching up and... We've got boxes, we've got water bottles, we've got cute little gifts. It's a nice little touch, isn't it? Yes. Got some citronella wristbands, we've got some breathing necklaces, things. All shorts. All shorts. This is the inside to what it looks like, prepping for a retreat. Yeah. Cute little stickers. There we go. Oh, cute. This is my food. I've gone for the risotto. It is out here. I'm not a vegan because that's just impossible. I'm vegetarian. So mushroom risotto was the way to go. Mum's got a starter of mussels with sourdough, it looks like, but maybe not. Maybe. Jordan's got a very tiny pizza. <laughs> oh my God. And spring rolls, and we've got chips coming. Dig in. Let's dig in. Enjoy. Enjoy. 